the university just keeps saying, oh no, students don't give a damn about workers. Why do we care? They're not united, they're not together. Athletes is all in the corner. Is that true? No! Hell no, right? No. So, I want to say thank you again. Um, today we are out here because uh, we are having, as you all know, an unfair labor practice. Because once again, the university is breaking the law. The university keeps enforcing our jobs, keeps going behind our backs and our union's leadership's back to go and extend contracts with contractors who replace our workers. Sure. When you have a contractor worker, it's not the problem is not the worker. And we have that clear. The companies who are uh, praying of those workers, that's the problem. And the university getting together with them to endorse poverty wages at the university, to endorse abuses to our workers, abuses to our people, mainly people of color, women, vast numbers, monolingual, and we, we can go on and on and on and on. But Good thing that we are here, students and workers together, to put a stop to that abuse. The university needs to understand that we're not going to stop pushing back every time we see an unfair practice, an unfair labor practice in our workplace. Like we all say, one injury, an injury to one is an injury to all. Is that, am I right? Stop violating the law. Stop breaking the law. Stop breaking our agreements. And it's about time for you, for the university, to start working with the with our union towards protections to our job security at the university. We want to have a future here, and we are not going anywhere. We are here. I, I don't. I don't think I'll say my name. I don't think here if they say my name. I'm sorry, Mima. My name is Mari Cruz Manzanares. I'm a senior custodian at UC Berkeley at Uni Two for 20 years. I'm not going anywhere. I'm on my 15 years of, uh, of power. I've been involved with my union for 15 years, so I'm a Christian now. And I have all the energy, I have all the guts, and all the meaning and the will to continue fighting to protect my job and my co-workers' job. So, uh, I'm gonna uh, pass the mic to our student intern, and I do want to say thank you again. And this is lovable. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, definitely, Mari Cruz, and then Libertad is somewhere over there. Um, okay, so before we start, um, I definitely want to do a land acknowledgement. So I'm just going to read off of the Native American Student Development um, page. So ASPE 3299 recognizes that Berkeley sits on the territory of the ancestral and unseceded land of the Olani people. Am I pronouncing that right? Olani people. Um, the successors and the historic of the sovereign Verona Board of Alameda County. This land was and continues to be great importance to the Olani people. We recognize that every member of the Berkeley community has and continues to benefit from the uses and occupation of this land. Since the institution, since the institution's founding in 1868, consistent with our values of community and diversity, we have a responsibility to acknowledge and make visible the university's relationship to Native peoples. By offering, by offering the land acknowledgement, we affirm indigenous sovereignty and we will, and we will work to hold University of California, Berkeley, more accountable to the needs of American Indian and indigenous peoples. Okay, now we have the president of ASCII 